Alright, <clears throat> Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Kahalam Yahawa Bashim Yahawa Shai, Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, salutations to the elect, laboring in this truth and sincerity and charity. Alright, uh, Shalom to you, brothers. Uh, this is Brother uh, Biala from Jim Chicago Camp here coming at you with another lesson. And today, um, you know, I'm. I'm uh, I want to go into the salvation, the strangeness of our salvation, man. Because right now, you know, as brothers know, the, the elect is being gathered, man. You know, when you, when you go to the book of Matthew's 24 chapter, uh, let me get, let me, let me, let me go ahead and get that scripture first. When going to the book of Matthew's, the 24th chapter, it says that the elect is going to be gathered from the four corners of the earth, man. Uh, let me see if I could find that. Okay, because this chapter goes in and uh, it goes in into uh, the end times, man. You know, because disciples asked them, "When should be the, the the end of time, the coming of the Son of Man?" All right, but let me see. I'm just skimming through it right now, but let me see if I can find it. Like this, um, okay. Um, bear with me, I can pop uh, okay. See, I probably, probably skimmed through it already, but I'm, I'm just going to look it up on a rest, war search for corners or four wins. Let's see. It's the Rocket Brothers. Okay, yo, Matthew 24 and 13, I mean, uh, 31, let's see what that says, okay, uh, it says, uh, Matthew 24 and 31, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, and from, and f from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other, right, because, we go into uh, Jeremiah sixteen sixteen says that uh, that uh, there's no more shall be said that that uh, the how liveth that rose up the children out of the land of Egypt how liveth that brought up the children out of the land of the north and wherever they were scattered man because Israel has been scattered through the four corners of the earth man you know you know pursuing to the, the curses you know but now when the the Lord seals his elect you know puts that mark on them. You know, how they're gonna be gathered through. Uh, first of all, through this word, being they're gonna be sealed. But when the, the chariots come, the chariots of the Most High, who the world knows as so-called UFOs, when they come back, they're gonna come and beam them up and um and uh, save them and deliver them from the, this nuclear destruction, man. You know, because America's gonna be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, man. You know. Because uh, that the evil that has been sown has has to be uh, cut off, man. So the the good c could be sown, man. All right, because the earth was given to the end of the wicked, you know. And and now there's a, the rulership is coming to an end, man. You know, and I'm talking about the so-called white man, the Edomites, because they're they're the end of the world, the end of this age, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. So is the the elect of Israel. Are the are, are the ones that are gonna uh, receive the kingdom first, man? All right, all right. So let me continue. Let me start off this lesson here in Acts one and nine. It says, um, "Salaka have it, uh, the Spanish version." All right, let me, all right, cool, cool. It says Acts one and nine. It says, um, and we had spoken these things, um, <clears throat> well, let me start up a little bit more up. 
Let me just start at six. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll skim through it quick. It says, uh, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, yeah, Lord, how shy will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? All right, because, which meant, was, uh, the kingdom will be restored again, basically, uh, out of the hands of, of these Edomites, man, out of the Romans at that time. All right, and he said unto them, it is not for, it is for you to so like it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in His own power, but you should receive power after the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall and you should be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and all Judea and in Samaria and into uh, into the uttermost part of the earth, man. All right, it's letting you know that the elect are scattered into the uttermost part of the earth, man. Because this gospel needs to be preached unto the uttermost part of the earth. And, and that is being done through the internet, man. Through through the unicorn. Alright. The heavens declare his word. You know, you know, day and night, you know what I'm saying? Psalms 119 or 19 uh, Salakia. Alright, so verse 9 says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received them out of their sight, man. Alright, and, and that and that and the cloud is talking about his chariots, man. All right, just to prove that, I want to go to the book of um, real quick Psalms, the one hundred and fourth chapter. Uh, uh, was it the fourth chapter? Yeah, third. It says uh third verse, Psalms one hundred four and three. Who laid the beams of his chamber in the waters, who make it the clouds his chariots, who walk it upon the wings of the wind. All right, so the point here is who make it the clouds his chariots. So these chariots, uh, they sometimes, uh, they're cl these clouds that they speak about, is talking about these chariots, man. All right, <clears throat> who, who walk it upon the wings of the wind. All right, because they, they fly, you know. Uh, they're, they're like they're aircraft man basically uh you know when you go to ezekiel it speaks about the movement of of, of uh you know the the you know the, the i forgot how it said explains it um it's like a circle uh you know at the book of ezekiel i believe uh it's the third the first chapter mentions it you know but you know that's another lesson for another time but I'm going back here. It says uh, that Yahushai was taken up by the by his chariots. And let's read verse ten. It says, Acts one and ten. And while they looked steadfast towards heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which were angels, which also said, "Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? This same Yahushai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven." Right, because when you go to book of uh, was that a Revelation 1 and 7? I got it here. It says, Behold, he coming with clouds, and every eye shall see him. All right, when he comes with them cloud with them chariots, man. You know, the chariots are gonna cover the, the, the entire earth, man. You know? It says, and they they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so called to wab or to me to wab. So when the Lord comes back. You know he's not coming to to save everybody, man. He, he's not come to bring deliverance and vengeance, man. All right. Surely it's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation to those that trouble you, man. Who were troubling uh, the Lord Yahushua at the time when he was crucified? Well, primarily was two thirds of, of of Israel, man. These wicked ass Israelites and the Romans, man, who pierced them, man, who did the physical damage. So. So when the Lord comes back, <clears throat> when the Lord comes back with his chariots, you know, he's only coming for his elect, man. All right, and, and we'll go into it more, you know, as the lesson, you know, uh, continues, man. So uh, next scripture, all right, is 1 Thessalonians um, 4 and 17. It says, uh, let me start at, uh, let me start at 16. For Yahweh. I mean, for the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, which is uh, the Lord here is uh, talking about Yahushai. For for Yahushai Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, 
with a voice of the archangel and with the trump of Yahweh and with the trump of, of the Most High Yahweh and the dead in Yahweh shall, shall, shall rise first, right? Because you know uh, those are the ones that are going to come back with the Lord, man. They shall rise first. All right, it says then we which are alive and remain. All right, so those are the the elect men who uh, who kept the word of his patience. All right, they continue to the endure to the end. All right, you know, because the scriptures speak about martyrs, martyrs, <clears throat> which are those that are going to be risen first, but then there's going to be some that are not going to touch death, man. Remember how should I said, there, there's some of you here that should not uh, 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 touch death, man. You know, uh, you know, roughly paraphrasing them, but, or see death. So these are they that, that, that the scripture is talking about. It says, then we which are alive and remain should be caught up together with them in the clouds, with, with, with the chariots, man, to meet Yahweh, I mean, the Lord in the air, right? Because what the scripture says, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven. So when these missiles come, man, the only way we're going to be delivered out of here is through that transformation, man, through that through that tra uh, translation, man, you know, how, you know, Enoch was translated, Elijah was translated, you know, and the brother here in, uh, 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 uh uh, the elder brother here in uh, Chicago made a you know a video uh, speaking about uh, pray to be translated. Man, the the uh, the brother on uh, on uh, Barra, the elder brother Barra made a video on on that you know speaking how we're gonna be translated, man. You know, and this is the in like manner, man. We're, we're gonna be changed into the glorious bodies, into the uh, celestial bodies. So uh, so you know we receive salvation, man. And afterwards, well, we'll go into it afterwards, we should descend back to, to, uh, to earth, man. You know, and we'll go into that scripture in a second. But let me just finish this off. It says, to meet Yahweh, the Lord, Yahweh Shai in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord, man. All right, so, you know, when we go into the first Corinthians, I believe it's the 15th chapter. Uh, <clears throat> it says, um. Just bear with me, brothers. Um, okay. Uh, okay, let me start here. At, uh, let me start at 49. First Corinthians 15, 49. It says, uh, And as we have borne the image of the, of the earthy, which is his flesh, we should also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brother, in the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High, Near to corruption and her incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We should not sleep, but we should all be changed, man. We should be changed to, to these incorruptible bodies, man. It's going to read on. It says, I'm going to read on. It says, In the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall, write, shall be raised incorruptible, which we read back in uh, 1 Thessalonians, that the dead shall rise first and Yahweh shy. All right. Um. Uh. First Thessalonians. Yeah, I probably took it off by accident, but you, you know, you, you saw a scripture, man. The the the, the dead should rise first, and you how shy. It says in corrupt. Uh, let me read that again. Um, in the moment, in the twinkling of a night, so it's gonna be of a of a, a less than a second man the last trumpet for the trumpet should sound and the dead should be raised incorruptible and we should be changed man that's how we put our faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai man because he does things that it's it's uh, impossible for men to do man it says for this corruptible must put on incorrupt incorruption and this mortal must put the immortality man alright because what the scripture says man we are gods man but we should die like men because that glory was taken from us, man. Because sin, man. You know. All right, but let me let me continue on. It says when this corruptible shall put on the incorruption, it, and that incorruption is also having the the law such and commandments in our head, man, in our mind, in our life, man, in our mind. You know, in our hearts, having that fleshy heart, man. Because. That's what's going to make us not to go off no more, man. The Lord programming us not to go off no more, man. 
And that's that's the covenant that the Most High promised us, man, to his elect of Israel, man. He made that promise to the Israelites, not not to the whole world, you know, not to whoever who believes in his name should be saved, not to the Israelites that are the elect that believe on his name. Those are the ones that are going to be saved, man. You know, which are going to be, some of them are going to be Israelite foreigners coming at the, you know, coming at in the fold, man, that, that there were Gentiles at one point. You know what I'm saying? But the point is, the elect are going to receive the fleshy hearts, man. And then, uh, uh, then the whole is then all Israel, man. You know, then all Israel. First, the elect, you know, because scripture says all Israel should be saved. But first, prim, you know, on this side, in this term, the elect, and then uh, the whole nation of Israel, man. All right, you know, if it's like if I, you know, confuse y'all, brothers, man. So like he says, let me read this again. So when this corruptible should have put on the incorruption, and this mortal should have put on the immortality. Then shall then shall be brought then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory. That's right, man. All death where let me let me just uh that's it that's it on that man. So yeah, we're gonna reach uh, we're gonna reach these incorruptible bodies, man, because blood cannot enter blood flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of heaven, man. Because w once we're beamed up through uh you know the hopeful elect is beamed up, you know. You know, flesh and blood cannot uh, 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 um, survive outside the earth, man. That's why we got to be changed, man. All right? And that's how we're going to meet the Lord in the air, uh, which we read in First Thessalonians, uh, was the 17th chapter. Let me just go back at it. Yeah, yeah. It says, um, we should, verse, first, first Thessalonians 4 and 17, then, which, then we which are alive and remain should be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet Yahweh in the air. Those that have that, that mark exempt from judgment. We're going to be changed in glorious fashion, man. Because what the scripture says, man. Uh, our knowing these things should be dissolved. What manner of person are we ought to be in our holy conversation? And, uh, and, and godliness, man. You know, because when these elements are destroyed, man. Once these, once these nukes come and hit America, man. That, that, that fallout. Which is that radiation, man? Is gonna affect those that that are around, man. But but if we got those incorruptible bodies, man, the the new uh, that change, you know, none of that could affect us, man, because we went, we got those glorious bodies, all right. And uh, what's what's that? What scripture says, man? Uh, uh, no 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 weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. You know, if, let me get that scripture, man. No weapon. Let me see if it comes out. Yup. Let me, let me just go to verse 16 because it speaks about the nukes too. Alright. And it goes into what I'm talking about, man. This is Isaiah 54, 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals. And the smith, the modern day smith, are these scientists, these these men that uh, create create these weapons. Now, what, what was that? J. Robert Appenheimer said, uh, I, I become the destroyer of the earth of worlds, man, because he was the first one to create the uh, the atomic bomb. You know, so th these are these smiths, man, these these modern day smiths. I said, behold, I have created the smith that blow bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bring forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. And the waster is talking about these missiles, man, to destroy. This is how the world's going to, this age, this world's going to be destroyed through nuclear missiles, man. You know, there's a bunch of scriptures speak about the, the plagues that are coming to Egypt, uh, which is modern day uh, America, Egypt, spiritually called Egypt. Then we go to scriptures talking about Babylon being destroyed in one hour. You know, how far, man, for one hour, great riches should be destroyed, man. All that, and, and then afterwards, it should be a habitat, an habitation of of uh of devils man meaning when america's destroyed with these missiles nothing but uh desert and ash uh and smoke is going to be seen here in america man for a really real long time man you go to book of isaiah 34 chapter man you go to you know a lot of scriptures that, that uh you know illustrate that man but let me let me get let me continue on this is isaiah 54 and 17 no weapon that is formed against thee you know, and D is talking about the elect shall prosper. 
All right, and every tongue that shall rise against the enjoyment of thou shall condemn, right? Because that's what we're doing. All right, we're condemning the world, man, because uh, we are not of the world. All right, this is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh. All right, and the scripture says he revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets, man. So the servants are the, are the, are the prophets now. That are bringing forth this word, man. You know, they're going to highways and byways, uh, uh, in season, out of season, year round, day and night, hold, holding out their, not holding their peace day and night. You know, you know what I'm saying. So these are the men who are gonna, uh, you know, these missiles, the weapons that form against us, man. They should not prosper, man, because the Lord promised that that we should be changed, man, in a twinkling of an eye, man. So when these missiles hit America, man, and this radiation fallout, it's not a prosper against the elect, man, because of the elect are gonna be beamed out of here, man. All right. Hopefully, uh, continue this lesson, bring that scriptures, them scriptures out. All right. So this is this is the heritage of the servants of Yahweh, the righteousness of me, said Yahweh. All right. Now, um. I'm gonna I'm gonna Revelation fifteen and one. All right, this is Revelation fifteen and one. It says, "And I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous. Seven ages having the seven last plagues, with seven last plagues." It's talking about these missiles, man. For in them is filled up the wrath of Yahweh, man. Hey, the wrath of the Most High, man. So hey, the Most High mustered the host, man. So the Most High. He's bringing the destruction, man. He's bringing this World War Three into effect, man. He's bringing these famines, these race wars, these these uh uh uh, uh martial law, man. You know these these uh, earthquakes. It's the Lord that does these things, man. Evil and, and he does evil and good. All right, he's he's the man of hosts, the man of uh, uh, uh the Lord of Sabaoth. Oath. You know, he's not a man that they should, should lie, man. He's a man of war, man. All right. Verse two, and I saw, and I saw as it was. So I can read again, Revelations fifteen and two, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. Right, and this is John seeing uh the the, the lake of fire, man, America being destroyed. Uh because he said I saw another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, seven angels having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of Yahweh, meaning the Most High bringing forth the destruction, man, with these missiles, man. And then, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. All right, and and scripture speak about missiles being arrows being shot out from one end to the earth, even to another. And, and they should not miss their mark, man. They should all hit their destination, man. Says, and I saw that it were mingled, a sea of glass mingled with fire. And and, and this is John seeing seeing them, uh, 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 the destruction through through space, man. Because if you go to book of Job 37 and 18, it says, uh, I'm real quick, uh, Job 37 and 18, has thou with him spread out the sky, which is strong, and as a, as a molten looking glass. So when we go outside of earth, man, it looks like a, a glass, like a like a mirror, man. You know, when you look, uh, which really is speaking about the ozone layer. You know, the ozone layer, when you look at it, it, it looks like a mirror, man, like a glass. All right. So I'm gonna go back uh, here, in Revelation, which this it lets you know that the sea of glass represents uh, the skies of, of the earth, man. Let me read again, and thou, and thou with him spread spread out the sky, which is strong, and as a molten looking glass. So it's, hey, so you look at the skies, it, it looks like a molten looking glass, man. Uh, just just for edification, let's see what does uh how, what, how does this look like, man. You know, it's the scriptures, man. If, hey, what the scripture says, it says, is what it, is what it is, man. Multi looking glass. Shit, may have just already depictions on it. See what I'm saying? You see? You can see. It. You can see. It. You clearly see, man. So, so, so John was already in them chariots, man. What it says: Enter into your champions, while the wrath of the Most High 
you know, hide there for a moment while, while, while the wrath of the Most High. Let me get that scripture because we just read in Revelation that that for in them is filled the wrath of the Most High. Uh, I mean, let me see if I could find that. I think, I think it's in Jeremiah, but I, I don't know exactly know where it's at. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah, Isaiah 26 and 20. Let's get that real quick. Isaiah 26 and 20. All right. <clears throat> Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers. All right, now let's examine this. This is my people. So, hey, the, the same people, it's talking about the Israelites, man. The same people that are going to receive salvation. All right. Come, come, my people, enter into thy chambers, which is talking about those chariots, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment. Right? Because when these missiles hit and we meet the air, the Lord, how shine the air. We're going to be hitting those chariots until we come down uh, to establish new Jerusalem, man. But we'll always get to that scripture. It says, until the indignation be overpassed. All right, until the wrath of the Most High passes, man. Until this judgment that, that that's going to hit America passes, man. That's what it's talking about. So, going back to the image, man. That, that, that's how Jah was seeing it, man. As, as a... Uh, as a um, what does it say? We're back in Revelation. It says, I saw it as it were a sea of glass. So he was looking at the at the at the earth through space. You know, he was looking at it as, as a looking glass with fire, man. You know, with, with the lake of fire, man. Because hey, fire moves just as water, man. So that's how that's how the the Apostle John was was describing uh you know the destruction, man. It says, and then them that had a guy in the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the sea of glass having the harps of Yahweh, man. Hey, so it's a sea of glass, we st you know, because we were on the, uh, not, I'm not saying I, man, in particular, but the hopeful elect, we're going to be in them, in them chariots, man. You know, and when I say we, the body of Yahweh Shai, man, that we believe that we're part of it, man. You know, but, uh, so uh, I'm gonna move on real quick. Uh, it says you can see uh, you can see the picture, man. John being beamed up into them chariots, man, and, and him seeing the destruction. You know, you seen America being destroyed. Uh, let me see. Let me get a uh, let, me, let me get a vivid picture so you could get the the point, man. Uh, so basically, uh. This is what John was looking at. Uh, I mean, I guess it's a good picture here. This is what John was really. And this is a meter, but we know it's gonna be missiles, man. So it's gonna be like, like a, like, like uh, a lake of fire, you know. But anyways, man, um, let me just continue on. You know, uh, I'm gonna get Revelation. To, to, 21st chapter. Alright, Revelation 21 and 1 it says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. Why? Because it was destroyed through these missiles, man. Alright, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from Yahweh out of heaven. Out of heaven. You know, how, how were they coming down through them chariots, man? It says, Prepare as a bride adorned for her husband, man. Because that's that's, that's when the Lord's going to crown us with with a, you know, with, with, with a crown, man. He's going to crown us, man. His elect. It says, uh, so as you can see, man, you know, and what, and what the first Peter 3 and 1, uh, not 3 and 1, but the first Peter 3rd chapter speaks about we look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. Why? Because that, that's the kingdom being established, man. Uh, the new heaven, new earth uh, descending down from heaven, man. So, uh, you know, that's that, man. 
I'm going to end it off with Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. You know, just to tie everything in. All right, this is Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. It says, Then shall, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness, boldness before the face of such that have afflicted them, man. And who has afflicted us the most? The, these Edomites, man. These devils. The so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speaks of, man. Those are the Edomites. Your Esau, you came out red just as your babies could be coming out red. You know, that that's you, man. And the proof, and we could prove that by by uh, uh, tracing down King Alexander's lineage, uh, lineage all the way to uh to the Book of Genesis, man. Because you guys are the Edomites, man. And we're gonna bind you and bind your nobles. So so once this once America is destroyed, man, you're gonna go into change, man. That's the next step. You're going to be put in chains, and the scriptures where it says we should bind their nobles with fetter irons should be, should be, a, 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 um, uh, should come to pass them, you know? It's going to be fulfilled. That's what I was looking for. That scripture is going to be fulfilled, man. You guys being put to change, man. You know, rebuilding our walls, rebuilding our cities. All right, like the scripture says, and Isaiah, I believe, is, uh, uh, I believe it's in Isaiah, you know, and then Ezekiel speaks about they should wake up to continue employment. So after this is done, man, y'all y'all go into slavery, man. So verse one, then shall the righteous man stand with great boldness before the face of such that as have afflicted him. And who are doing that the most, man? The men of great millstone, man. We're out there in the highways and byways, year round, declaring the name of how Bashim Shai, you know, breaking down strongholds, saying that the white man is a wicked. The board of wickedness. Alright. We're doing all that man. And made no account of, of his labors. Because now today man. What are the so called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. They don't get. They don't get. Praise for the things they did for this country man. They still look down upon. To the most that are in prison. You know. They, hey man. They, they look that's we're the scum of the earth man. But, but, but that is good though. That's good, man. Before honor coming uh, humility, man. So right now we take a a basement and uh you know all ba a bash being bashed upon and all that. I mean, cause that's the Lord, you know, purifying us. So when we receive that glory, man. But you know that's another lesson. You know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to verse two. And when they should see it, they should be troubled with terrible fear and should be amazed at the strangers of his salvation. Let me read that again. And when they see it, they should be troubled with terrible fear, man. A man's heart should faint for what the Lord's going to come back, man. And especially these Edomites. And should be amazed at the strangers of his salvation so far beyond all that they looked for, man. Because these crackers in these other nations and two-thirds of our people here in America, man, they're looking for, for white Jesus to come down and save, you know, motherfuckers and neckties and uh fucking suits you know it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a i mean i'm just gonna read on man it says verse 30 and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves this was he who whom he had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach we fools call his life madness and his end without honor man and that's how these crackers look at us man these edomites you know, they're going to be repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit. You know, because they're going to be all messed up in the head, man. Like, hey, we really fucked up, man. Because we dis we destroyed these people who we thought were, uh, 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 um, and we were, they were, uh, uh, inferior to us. But look at, look at them now, man. You know, we kind of their life madness without honor. But here, here they are, man. They're numbered. Among the children of Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, man. How is he numbered among the children of Yahweh? And his lot is among the saints. So, man, with that, man, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to the elect that are laboring this truth. And who are looking for that deliverance and, and haste and waiting for it. You know, because those are the men that are going to be seeking. Uh, after the Most High's heart, man. So with that, man, I'm going to say Shalom and continue to stay in the spirit. Shalom.